Hassett came back, right? So all these guys have played so hard and worked on their game and put a lot of time into it. And we had to sit in it. You know, we, we had to take it. And sometimes when you sit in it and you're honest with yourself and you take it, some great things can happen. Congratulations. Enjoy it. All right, thank you. Attendance is in Pass is met. We update the bracket and Purdue in the final four for the first time since 1980. They will take on either Duke or NC State. That game coming up next on CBS. For Steve Lapis, Evan Washburn, Gene Steratore, our entire crew, I'm Andrew Catalan saying so long from Detroit where Purdue is the Midwest Regional Champion. If you're not here for Fandom 101, you're in the wrong class. Here, we learn the fundamentals of fanology, the basics of bringing the noise, and the physics of bringing it out. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA Championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. When I need a winning strategy for my team, class that means knowledge and skill. That's why the I'm Masters, the right way. this April on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Having personally witnessed the impact of hard work and dedication, I call right nothing but the next. Swiss. Whether it's HVAC, plumbing, or electrical, their team always delivers excellence. All right, stop the this break. It's not half time yet. You know you're in good hands. New York your runs on Dunkin'. Choose right way, heating, cooling, and Now is a great time to get an offer you'll doing, love on the Accord right Hybrid way. and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. I'm in need of a driver with a particular set of skills. Yeah, I can drive. Who are these people? They're human traffickers, man. I'm gonna get us out of this. I had no choice. We always have a choice. I'm a good man. After months of hibernation, it's time to re-emerge. Let spring inspire you to start fresh, too, behind the wheel of a new Ford SUV, featuring power that invigorates, capability to venture way off the grid, and tech that helps you forge a new path. It's a big world. Get out there and experience it. Now, returning lessees can get an Explorer for just $3.09 a month for 24 months, only at your local Ford stores. Get all your faves like an order of small fries and get another for just a buck. Every day on the value menu, only at McDonald's. Basketball is sponsored locally by New York Presbyterian. Stay amazing. This is Capital One Tournament Central. The dance continues for the Midwest Regional Champs. Zach Eady and the Purdue Boilermakers have punched their ticket to the final four. Welcome back to our New York studio. Ernie Johnson along with Clark Kellogg. Got Jay Wright. Got Kenny Smith. We got Charles Barkley. We had ourselves one heck of a mm. ball game right wow. there. That was tough and tight between Woo. Tennessee that was, and man, That was so much fun to watch. Two big-time players and the teams going to their strength. Purdue being disciplined enough not to take any quick threes, not to take any crazy shots, get the ball into Zach Eady. Tennessee down the stretch, trying to go to Dalton Connect, trying to get threes, to, and Purdue getting into Dalton Connect. That's what it came down to at the end. Yeah. Lance Jones did a good job on Dalton Connect, and, and Z, Zach Eady just was too much. For them to handle, it, and he got it done, man. It's 40 exactly to 37 with those. Yeah, teams. I was going to say it's exactly what you want to see when you got the guys who were, whose names are on the marquee, yeah. yep. and a 40 and 16 for Edie, 37 for Dalton Connect. Yeah, I was. Uh, I, I love the guys playing great uh, who are on the marquee, but the thing that impressed me about Zach Edie 
He, his counter moves. He was a baby Kevin McHale today. Yeah. Kevin McHale is the best player I ever played against in my life. And they was forcing him to, he was trying to get that right hand. And he had a couple spin move baseline and a couple, he, the up and under he had. So I just love the fact that he was like, we're not going to lose today. He would not let his team lose today. And hey, Mr. Connect, I'll see you next year. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be talking about you next year because you were spectacular today. But man, Zach Eady would not let that team lose today. Oh, I agree. What yeah, I, you know, the um, it was a great offense for Purdue. Um, the almost the inability at times though to make Edie uncomfortable on defense. He I don't think at any point in the game he felt uncomfortable on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. And that is has been the kryptonite, so to speak, for Purdue in the past years. They did a great job of keeping him and maybe that that, that piece that we ran before the game and saying that he moves his feet better, he did more agility work, maybe that's accurate because he didn't seem uncomfortable at all on the defensive end. Yeah. I agree. I mean, what a game. Fitting for a regional final. Yeah. Both teams played like champions, only gave championship efforts, only one actually hoist the tro trophy, and that's Purdue, and they deserved it. But again, it was very similar to the first meeting in November. Purdue goes 3 of 15 from 3, dominates the rebounding and the free throw game, despite not shooting a great percentage from the line, plus 10 makes, and also, well, actually plus 14 makes, plus 22 attempts from the line. And the score, nearly identical. That one yep. was 71-67. Exactly, a lot of 70, similarities. 72 to 66. Uh, coming up next, here on CBS, number 11 seed, NC State, looking to extend its magic. Eighteenth trip to the Final Four, which brings us to the Capital One Venture Card Double Double of the Day, where we highlight NC State's Muhammad Diara, who has recorded a double double in four straight games with 13 points and better than 13 rebounds per game in NCAA tournament play. Well, the road to redemption continues for Zach Eady and Purdue. Great moment with his mom right there. Mm -hmm. Next stop, Phoenix. For the first time since 1980, the final four awaiting Purdue. Boiler up indeed. We'll be back. Chuck, looks like you got some competition. Welcome to the Magic Mark. You're better than the Chuck stop. March Madness Chuck. He goes, Sam, spy Chuck. You stole my idea. I'm calling my lawyer. Chuck's lawyer. Seriously? Oh, food court. Clever. He is kind of clever. You're fired. Where's Charles? That's not Chuck using his Capital One card? Do y'all take Chuck stop coupons? You get more with Geico, no matter what kind of fan you are. The plumber's weak and your point guard's a geek. Sick burn, Caitlin. From the trash-talking fan <laughs> to the passionate fan. <laughs> even the superstitious fan. Last time you were there, you love seat. You were not wearing that. You know this is where I always sit. You do not have popcorn. However you fan, get more with Geico. And we're back. The team is looking down the barrel of a 455 meeting. Can they turn it around and make this meeting an email? Jones is taking the ball and running with it. She's asking Grimley to write the first draft of an email. What a play. Grammarly is an AI writing partner that helps you make your point. She's got a clear shot and it's good. Bozinga! It's a slam dunk. The meeting's canceled. They'll go home champions. Grammarly for business. Jalen, what are you wearing? What? <laughs> this is my tournament jacket. With AT&T, I can watch at home or on the go. Money. What? I'm just like Jalen. It's a vibe. I am a vibe. Connect to the madness your way with AT&T 5G and home internet. Another look at the uh, Purdue Boilermakers celebrating their first Final Four berth since 80. What a great moment for the program, bouncing back after 
a devastating loss to FDU in the first round. And who will be joining them in Phoenix? We are closing in on tip-off time for tournament darling 11 seed NC State, 4th seed Duke, who meet for the third time this month. This march to remember continues for NC State. Who could have imagined the Wolfpack in the Elite Eight? Our defense has done a great job. The constant defense. You know, hold our three opponents to well below their season average. It's what your defense needs to do in the tournament. And it's going to be an all-ACC South Regional Final. And for more on the Blue Devils, let us check in with Tracy Wolfson, who caught up with head coach John Shire. Coach, you know this NC State team well. Lost to them recently in the ACC tournament. What did you learn from that game that can help you in this one? Well, I think first and foremost, you have to have uh, great attention to detail when you're playing NC State, but the physicality and energy you have to play with, that was a reminder and a wake-up call for us. And I'm proud of our team for the way that we practice and the way we responded to that. Uh, but they're even better now than they were when we last played them. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge, uh, but, but excited about this opportunity. In terms of the opportunity to taking this team to a Final Four for you, this would be the first time as a head coach. What would that mean to be able to take this team there? Well, look, I, I don't take this opportunity lightly at all, and it's hard to get here. And I've, I've realized that in my time as a player at Duke, my time as a coach, my time um, loving this sport growing up as a kid. When you watch, you get, you get to this stage, and Elite Eight game is... It's a special thing to be in this game, and you don't want to make it uh, bigger than what it is. You want to focus on the task at hand and what you have to do in order to win. Uh, but obviously, to be in this position uh, is a blessing. These guys have earned it, and I just want us to, to go for it like crazy and follow their instincts. Appreciate the time. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Tracy. So, Chuckster, you hear John Shire talk about this NC State team now better now than they were when they played him in the tournament I got to think some of that, and I think you pointed this out yesterday, is just the confidence level the team has now. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, I said this to Jay yesterday, like, your team is different all throughout the season, but this team is playing with, on a whole nother level. Their confidence has got to be through the roof right now. You know, you, you talk to, to Coach talked about, like, why not us? You don't win this many games in a row and you get to the Sweet 16, the Elite 8, without tremendous players and confidence. That's because that's really all we people say. What separates good players from great players? Just tremendous confidence and belief in yourself. And this team right now, man, they're on an emotional high. I, you know, Jay said something about it last week. He says, I was uh, going into game one of the tournament. I says, I was, um, you said, I was watching Showdown in Atlanta. You says, for this coach to get that team back down to earth after winning five games in five days, the coach has, a, he's done a tremendous job. Now, they're just playing with great confidence. Definitely. So Duke beat him at the beginning of the month. NC State beat him in the middle of the month. Who wins this game at the end of the month? Well, at the end of the month, you, we talk about confidence. That that team in Durham has it as well. They're gonna. They, you're you're like <laughs> we're we're one game away from being in the Final Four, and we beat these guys already. And they're on this Cinderella ride. So my confidence, if I was them, if I was Duke. Oh, he said it. Oh, he got it out. Oh, Tar Heel said it. Wow. I, I, would actually, I would actually be super confident because I wouldn't believe that they could beat us twice. There was no way I would believe that. I think we are the team of destiny. I actually do believe that they will be dancing in Durham, unfortunately, and when in Chapel wow. Hill will be mourning. I will, we'll get more on this upcoming game from you guys in a second. We do want to revisit the game that we just had uh, in Purdue uh, and the moments that they are experiencing right now in front of that crowd in Detroit. <laughs> hands raised and hands on that trophy. Mm. And um, That's a again, great scene for Boiler Nation. He's got to take his shoes off, Chuck. Yeah, you got to take his shoes off. Nice shoes. They got nice shoes. Right? Take them off. Now can they pull a Virginia <laughs> in 2019? They got a chance, 16, Ernie. And then come back and win the whole thing? They got a chance. Yes, they do. They'll be in the desert with a chance to do just that. What a what an afternoon, Coach. Virginia, Virginia didn't have to play against Con uh, Connecticut at the end. But <laughs> we don't have to talk about that yet, but... I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for Matt Painter. As yeah. I told you guys, Agreed. you get anointed in the coaching world when you make the Final Four. He deserves it.
Yeah, and listen, I'm happy for Zach Eady because you know everybody was giving him a hard time. Like he's player of the year for the only other person since Rap Southland to do it, and he hasn't had uh, tournament success. <laughs> Put it on upside down. <laughs> 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 and shout out to the coach, uh, Gene Cady, who's at the game, one of the great coaches of all time. Yeah, and one of the great guys, too. Yes. Moments don't get any sweeter for teams and fan bases than that one right there. Well, I guess it does if, uh, if you cut down the nets at the end, but this ain't bad. This is pretty sweet. I put a spell on you. leaving until I have a barrel full of Nazi hearts. Try not to be greedy. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, April 19th. I have a delivery for Athena. You know any Athena? I don't know any Athena. Twist on it? Yeah. Cream on the right, we'll let him in. Oh, welcome to Troy. Open the game. Thank you. Times may change, but some things remain timeless. Feel how much softer and smoother Dove leaves your skin. Dove is one quarter moisturizing cream. I've been using Dove Beauty Bar more than 25 years. After seven days, I feel like a brand new woman. I think beauty starts with my skin. See, HomeQuote Explorer lets you easily compare home insurance options so you can get what you need without overpaying. Yeah, we spent a lot on this kitchen. Oh, yeah, really high-end stuff. Sorry, that's our ghost. Yeah, okay. It's more annoying than anything. Too bad there's mold behind the backsplash. Yep, there's mold. Well, then, let's see if we can save you some money with Progressive. Guess how much I originally paid for this fireplace? 23 bucks. Materials and labor. Just ignore him. You got bamboozled! Starting tomorrow, the road to the CMT Music Awards on CBS kicks off with nominees and performers Bailey Zimmerman and Megan Maroney and host Kelsey Ballerini, plus Olympic gymnast Ali Raisman and Star Trek Discovery's Sonequa Martin-Green beams in on CBS Morning starting tomorrow. Drop the microphone, please. This is Capital One, Tournament Central. Now, this is an image for you. A big ladder. I was about to say, yeah, unless you're Zach Eady. Oh, oh, <laughs> Who needs a ladder? ladder? First time I've seen that. I've never, I've never seen anybody do that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, a big fella. Good thing he gave up hockey. Uh, Send it a message. Yeah, I think that was, good, that was a good That was a good move. decision. Real good up, call. Give up hockey. Uh, who knows? Could have revolutionized the sport, Chuck. He'd be a hell of a goalie. Yeah. Baseball, too. Could you imagine facing him standing on the mound, throwing mm. downhill at you? He's stepping at you. He's Ooh. two feet away from you. Well, we're getting ready. We'll get to check him out next week in Phoenix, up close in person. Yeah. Uh, that's impressive. Is that <laughs> <laughs> of all the things you saw today in the course of the 40 point game, that may be. Some coach is going to put that up and say, okay, when well, we're playing against him, look at this. Don't attack him at the uh, rib. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I go, oh, Coach Katie. Oh, man, that's my man. Oh, oh, man. man. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, he's got to be just overflowing with joy. That's because it, Matt played for him. Matt Painter played yeah. for him. Yeah. And, uh, man, a, it's got to be a great day. It's a great day for all, yeah. all of Purdue Boiler people. Nation. All of Boiler it, Nation. Uh, uh, I, I don't know Coach Painter that well. I've met him a couple of times. But Terrific know, guy. You would I've love known him Coach too. Katie forever, man. What a good man and a hell of a coach. Yeah. Moments like that really, yeah. really it rich, is. really just bonding the generations. Uh, these guys were talking about NC State and, uh, and Duke earlier and dominating the conversation, I might say. <laughs> so why don't you two <laughs> weigh in? We love it, though, man. We love yeah, it. Yeah, we I do. Hope my <laughs> We do, but there's a limit to what we can enjoy. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So I want to go back to the point that both Kenny and Charles made around confidence. Yeah. Confidence is a byproduct of preparation and production. Nobody has confidence if they're not performing. Both of these teams right. have performed at a high level, especially Duke at the defensive end. Defensively, they've been stupendous in this tournament. 51 points a game allowed. 
and only 36% field goal shooting. North Carolina State, mid-30s defensive field goal percentage and still scoring at 75 a game. So both of these teams playing at a high level. I like North Carolina State, and I think it's going to come down to the backcourt. The headliners, obviously, DJ Burns has been fantastic. He's fun to watch, but I think it's going to be the perimeter play. You got McCain. Roach, Proctor, then you've got DJ Horn, Casey Morsell. That's where the game's going to be won, and I like the magical run of the Wolfpack to continue. Wow, that's interesting. You're right. Confidence comes from results, from having sure. success. But what's also interesting is this time of year, your team actually gets better. You know, you play on the weekend. You play Thursday, Saturday. You get back Sunday. You practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You're getting better, and you're talking about getting better. When we were in the tournaments, we would always say, let's get better each day. Because the teams you're playing against, they're getting better too. So if you don't keep improving during the tournament, and both of these teams, Duke getting past Houston, that was a big learning lesson for them. Yeah, Jay, all that sounds good. Who you picking? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a re that's a rinse and repeat lesson for you, right. Charles. And NC State learned their inside-out game, and that's the reason the confidence and the physicality of Duke beating Houston is why I would go with Duke in this game. We are inching closer and closer to tip-off. When we come back, we'll get you out there to the start of NC State and Duke. Welcome to March Madness, man. What do we do? They just don't want me to retire like that. Oh, we ain't Duke. Give me a lead eight. You're no Cinderella, are you? Nah, not at all. One more way from our story, Chief. The fellows in Chapel Hill, Jared, they're on that practice tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's great as that was. It's about to get a lot better. Yeah. Yeah.
Most, more important than great people, right a lot of years. And this team is, it rivals any team I've ever been a part of. Um, what they did this year is not common, it's not normal. We're not supposed to be here, but we are. And the people in the room get it. Um, not surprised by it. And you all got to see it today. Uh, a fearless, gritty, tough, UConn, display of competitive there, fire and Will passion and togetherness Hi, that is Grand as inspiring Hill, as anything Happy Easter, as anything. What's Are more inspiring Greenberg than what you all just watched? That's what it um, feels like and to those of you who have been paying attention, which is not most of you, you know, all year long, um, you would know that That's from day one. Right now for the squad. If you were with us in Italy, you, you would have seen what you saw today. Passion, yeah, they, they have two DJs. unbelievable energy, togetherness, and competitive fire that's just not normal. So, down 12 going into the fourth quarter. So, you know, that's all I had to say. We're down 12 to the number one team the season. Uh, starting the fourth quarter. Won, won. Let's Draft go. Two, Can we do it? So many you know, and, 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 and so just uh, fearless, to to courageous, together, everything that's right in this team. In our sport, Duke, where Dorf, it seems like these three controversy is the flavor the all the time the three, for some reason, they play off and we all have to have something to whine about, this team just keeps it simple and does everything right. And y'all are probably bored with it. Rebounds the 50-50 is important for Duke. what I'd say. And let's bring in the fourth member of our crew. Everybody needs to get to know this team. Thanks, everybody needs to watch this team. And everybody needs to be like this team. Four. John Shire was there as a player the and be assistant under Mike Krzyzewski. But he told me to be able to have the chance the to lead this team in just his second so year as a head coach would mean everything for Kevin Keith. It's been a challenging four years. He was on the hot seat just a month ago. An ACC champion. We'll now take questions for the student athletes. And now he's one game away from taking NC State to its first Final Four since 1983. Tracy, the 919 is well represented between NC State and Duke. Talk you've about got Raleigh, what it you've meant got Durham, to you to go up against Wolfpack, you know, like somebody who's going to pick your chooses to go. I'm going to be like it. Has been playing at an exceptionally high level. Duke, it's coming together at the right time. They've talked about their team chemistry. They've talked about getting to this stage and the chance now to fulfill that dream 
and get to the Final Four. This is the first matchup between an 11 and 4 seed in NCAA tournament history and the first meeting between NC State and Duke in the NCAA tournament. Doug Sermons, Brian O'Connell, Michael Irving, our officiating crew here tonight in Dallas. One spot remaining in the Final Four. It will be filled here. Controls the tip. We're underway in the South Regional Final. I need to go grab him right now. Look, I'm going to a little. Wait a minute. This. Right here. You said it best. Great touch. We see him backing down and posting people up. But he has range out to 15 feet. And he's just right now playing with great confidence. Scoring and passing. He's got a great personality. <clears throat> Something others could <laughs> reach back for. But he is a pleasant kid and loves the game. Here's the penetration by Morsell. Kick it out. It's Burns. Back to back. And right away, <laughs> and right away Duke opting to play him one-on-one, -on -one, not tra trapping and double-teaming. They don't want to give up the threes, really, I think, is what uh, John was thinking. 4-2, Wolfpack. Filipowski. I like this. Him Diara. Tried the drop. The fade is short. Rebounded by Diara, who has been on a tear working the glass. Lepowski on that low box and dribble drive that should be very important. Raleigh native, DJ Horn. They're going to ride the big fella, Burns. Loves to back you in. He loves that right shoulder. There you go. And it rims out. Filipowski is there for the rebound. Good job there by Filipowski contesting without fouling. Pull up, pop, Roach off the heel. And O'Connell, who transferred from Stanford, comes away with the board. And they got a good look as Mitchell really ran to the block. Tough shot. Get him going. Goodness. Missed it. Off balance. Horn had 19 points in the 67-58 win over number two seed Marquette. They tried to ice it left side. They got the mismatch they want right now. There's a switch back. McCain had the big game against JMU in the second round. Filipowski one-on-one -on -one with Burns. He's in the DJ booth. Filipowski misses on a fade. The follow doesn't go. Mitchell is fouled. The DJ booth is a, a not pretty a strong area. There's not a lot of room in the DJ booth. No. But I think for Filipowski, you got to face up Burns. You're not going to be able to back him down and move him at all. If you face him up and use your quickness, you might be able to draw a foul. But right there, Mark Mitchell doing what he does. And he needs to be a factor in this game. He can impact winning and be that X factor for Duke. First round win over Vermont, 64-47. to 47. Then in the second round, 93-55. They dominated James Madison. McCain had 30 points in that one. 257th all-time meeting between these two schools. Mitchell had just two points in the victory over Houston. We're tied at four. Third matchup of the season. It's coming within an eight-game span for Duke. NC State has played more games because they advanced in the ACC tournament and won it. Nice string up by Filipowski. He can make the three, but they're trying to get him to drive a little bit more. Diara, back in. Diara, tough angle because Mitchell played good defense. Spin move, shot clock winding down, and they're going to run out of time. Diara's jam won't count. And, and Raph, just a great defensive possession there from Duke. And the toughness of Mark Mitchell denying Diara any opportunity, denying the wings, forcing that shot clock violation. Look, Duke's defense, underrated. I mean, they have just, they've held their opponents to just 51 points here in the tournament. The shooting's been great, but the defense has been better. They well, finally have some guys on the end of the court that'll play defense. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let's roll the tape back from 1994. <laughs> yeah, he did pretty good. Here's Roach. He's very tough. He is so good in that lane. They missed it. Off the rim. Connell can pull up, can make threes. Diara, instead of the isolation against Mitchell, they work it around the horn to horn. Gotta stay honest on the perimeter here. Marcel, the transfer from Virginia. Nice spin. The fade. He's got it. He has that pull-up game. Beautiful. Big footwork as well. And a 6-4 lead for NC State. Duke is one of five from the field. They're not playing. They're zoning up off of Mitchell. Opens this up. Proctor missed it on the finger roll, and he ends up on his backside. It's a five-on-four. Horn attack mode. Off the 
up back of the rim. Diara battling. He almost kicked it. He, he did. did. He has a shot in the background. Before the game, he was playing. <laughs> he had those kick balls juggling. Oh, Messi would be proud. Working around the perimeter. Proctor. I think Proctor can go if he gets it back on Diara. Mitchell, they leave him alone with space. Mitchell around the world and out. They're going to get that, that drop zone defense by Burns Jr. And Duke is now one of seven from the field. They trail NC State 6-4. And changing the matchup with Mitchell on Burns. Marcel with confidence doesn't go. And Filipowski, the uncontested rebound. NC State, first Elite Eight appearance since 1986. They lost to Kansas that year, 75 to 67. Uh, Mitchell's got to do a lot of screen, I think, because they're just zoning it up in the back. And the turnover by Roach, break opportunity. Porn waiting for his teammates. And Raph, Duke likes to switch everything on the perimeter, so you're going to have to be able to play one-on-one, -on -one, which in NC State, multiple guys can do. Porn. Pretty good challenge by Mitchell. Filipowski's done a good job twice. Leak out here. McCain, that's a deep one. Bottom. In transition, this kid is dynamite. Not afraid. Forget a layup with disdain. Villain. McDonald's All-American from Sacramento, California, always playing with a smile on his face. And he gives the Blue Devils a one-point lead. I think you got to get back to DJ Burns in the post. They keep switching the responsibility. Filipowski doing a good job fighting. Just took a little elbow to the chest. Burns asking for it. DJ, it's on his playlist. <laughs> DJ that could dance. I tell you, no payola involved in that move. <laughs> All right, how many can we get in in a five second? I run my gamut. Eight seven NC State. I'm giving him that shot. That's why he's got a screen. It's, these things can happen. McCain is fouled underneath. Got to make him pay for that zone. Free throws for Jared McCain when we come back. NC State taking on Duke. It's all ACC with a trip to the Final Four at State.
six seed NC State faced number one seed Houston, one of the most memorable national championship games in NCAA tournament history. As we take a look and listen back in our It Takes More, presented by Powerade. Down to seven seconds. You can see the time. indelible image of Jim Valvano running around after they win the championship. Gary Bender and Billy Packer on the call. Lorenzo Charles, the miracle slam off the Wittenberg miss. Time expired. That's the last time NC State made a Final Four and some similarities between 83 and 24 right now for this program. It sure feels like it. just a miracle run right now for for Kevin Keats and this group right here and fighting to get into the tournament, just gaining confidence as they go. And so, you know, 83 was before my time, Ben Rath. But I, I, was <laughs> but I remember game. watching. But Witt to this day says it was a pass. He does like, say that. He does. He totally committed to it. When, when did he ever pass? I mean, uh, seldom. <laughs> no. I, I love you, ever. Derek. But think of it. Uh, Jimmy's such a big influence on the ACC. He and Mike became great pals and Dean Smith as well. I mean, just established friendships. A very harmonious group of talented coaches. And how could you not love that NC State group with Wittenberg and Sidney Lowe, Terry Gannon, the late Lorenzo Charles, Thurl Bailey, and Kozel McQueen go on and on. Feed the post. Middle Brooks is now in for NC State. And he is fouled by Ryan Young. So both teams went to their bench for bigs, and they were involved in that action. Watch the men's Final Four on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCA March Madness Live. Download it now to stay up to date on all the action. And Rap, Ben Middlebrooks comes in to give you know, DJ Burns a spell, but he's actually played pretty well. Had a career-high 21 points against Texas Tech in the first round. Brings some mobility, strength, toughness defensively. So... You know, it's good when your backup can right. come in and you can maybe even get better as a team. And Bert, it opens up things too because he'll play out high in ball screens. Guys can dribble, drive, get in the lane. His uncle is here, Danny Cannell, who's a colleague of ours at CBS Sports, former professional quarterback. And there's no denying that he's his uncle. He made sure of it on his T-shirt. We, we don't even need the Chiron. Would you say Chinson or no? Do you like it? <laughs> I have a shirt that says Bill Raftery is laughing. <laughs> you know what? I hope you a thousand people it. have those same shirts. <laughs> We're tied at nine. A different look. A double post up. See if they get a little high low going. McCain is fouled. Not a good one. Three Three's point out. territory is going to the line. A little different look now with the two bigs on the floor. Yeah, both bigs that can get out and contest and guard on the perimeter. And you love the effort right there by Mohamed Diaro to get out, contest. You know Jared McCain leads the team in three-point shots made. But you got to be smarter there and not foul three-point shooter. So three free throws for McCain. Takes a deep breath and closes his eyes prior to the free throws. Substitution for NC State. Jaden Taylor, their talented combo guard off the bench, is in for the first time. Does he have your uh, nail polish bird or no? I did not get a sponsorship deal. He did. And McCain is shooting it at 87% at the line. And now Burns will check in for Mohamed Diar. Just something to keep in the back of your mind in regards to Diar. He's observing Ramadan, so no food or drink from dawn to dusk. And just the way that the timing works out today, Diara, it's not going to be within the window where he can have a banana in the second half or uh, he was taking in applesauce packets in the last game. This game, unless we have bonus basketball overtime, double overtime, is going to end before sundown. And that might be why Kevin Keats just subbed him out right now. And going with a lineup of Ben Middlebrooks and DJ Burns playing together, which you don't see often with NC State. But I think also because Duke has the two bigs, that might be possible as well. Sean Stewart is in, the freshman for Duke. Nice pass. Ooh, so strong. Bullock feed inside, Middlebrooks. Pivots. That's good defense there from Young. Stay straight up. 12-9 Duke. Duke. This is what they're tough on that open floor. But it's Proctor who misses in transition. Two layups at the rim. Proctor has blown. Give it up and shoot it. O'Connell, the rainbow three doesn't go. Tries to dig it out and does. Horn will fire. Off the rim, no. And rebounded by Proctor. And Bert, that's big on both sides. Those long three 
caroms. You've got to come up with them. NC State is 0 of 4 from three-point territory. They went 6 of 12 in the victory over Marquette. Hard drive. Proctor gets cut off, and he travels. Third turnover for Duke. Blue Devils up by three on NC State here in the first half. There's always a fresh deal on the subway app. How about... It's what he does. You know, we didn't give up threes from it. Thought Flip did a good job making him score over the top. Uh, but it's a long game. We just have to stay disciplined, and then we can't turn the ball over. Thank you. All right, thanks, sir. All right, Tracy, and the defensive numbers, there is nobody in the field giving up fewer points than the Duke Blue Devils. 51 points per game allowed. Opponent field goal percentage is 39%, and they've upped their steals here during the dance. Well, they're playing defense like your your dad's favorite good team. <laughs> Getting after it. And which team was that? Uh, Jim Spinarkles? <laughs> nice slip. Nice from Stewart. It's Stewart with the negation. What a nice addition. He has played well against State. McCain. Back for Roach. Filipowski is back in. They spread it here with 11.20 to go in the first half. Duke up by three. Both teams have missed seven of their last eight shots. They're going to use Filipowski's screen because of the drop defense. He's going to get an open look if he wants it. Pick and pop. Missed it short. Rebounded by O'Connell. They get into early offense for Burns. Watch that drop step baseline. Burns looking to score. And he does. Magic. DJ with the nimble feet. I'll tell you what, he's at nimble feet, but once in a while you need a cab to get him to the other end. <laughs> he really struggles once in a while. you got to run him. Well, speaking he's of ball screens. Just speaking of struggles, Duke right now has missed eight of their last nine shots. Give credit to this defense of it. We'll kind of stay. The zigzag and the running one-hander doesn't go for Roach, and he's down. Roach is slow to get up, may have taken a shot to the face. Five on four right now for NC State, and a foul called against Proctor. And Burns did a nice job. He's such a good kid. He just patted Roach on the face. It's just charming. 
Everything he does with style, chop step, throw that little left. And that was the smack wow. to the face. With this. <laughs> Dr. Pacheco to take care of him. <laughs> Well, Hamid Diara is in. Oh, the drop step. Burns can't get it to go. Out of bounds off of the Wolfpack. Refuel with this delivery only offer from Wendy's and Coke Zero Sugar. Order now in the Wendy's app and snag a $0 delivery fee. 12-11, 2 in front. Roach is now on the bench. So it's Proctor handling it. McCain off the ball, and Jalen Blakes is in for the first time. McCain, took it, a three. Nice little pin down. Well, he gets those puppies organized beautifully. And does he have some range? He has 11 of their 15 points. We are past the midway point of this first half. There's that automatic switch that you talked about. Birds floated up. Rebounded by Filipowski and a foul. foul. Cheap foul, too. He doesn't need that. That was a frustration foul right there for missing that layup. Uh, great play, though. Great set getting him in movement. And Jerry McCain coming off that pin down. That's next level right there as a freshman able to knock down that three. As DJ Burns picks up his second foul right there and gets caught. Got Roach early in the game and right there... <laughs> swipe to the face of Filipowski. If you don't tag McCain on that little pin down, he gets him organized three quarters of the body around before he gets the shoulder set. Quick release. Great balance. So Burns on the bench with two fouls. Middlebrook's back in. Flair screen, they worked on that all day yesterday. Loaded for McCain on a skip. 15 to shoot. McCain with a pat in a step. Gets inside. Can't finish it. Rebound. A and a foul. foul. As Diara gathered he got hacked. Uh, Blake's reaching in there. That's the third right at the rim. Well, I like that. Has missed. I like that. McCain, though, not settling. You got the bigger Diara on you. He attacks him off the drive. Just could not finish. And you said it. Three layups opportunities for Duke's guards are unable to convert. So the foul called on Jalen Blake's. Duke leads by four. NC State shot at 46%. In that win over Marquette, they really got the Golden Eagles discombobulated with their defense. And Horn's looking to run out ball screen to get Horn going a little bit. Diara, back for Horn, 12 to shoot. Good defense. Good challenge. Horn. Yes, sir! Out of the window from that angle! Wow, big time! Kiss! <laughs> he doesn't want to look, I guess. Give him the gas face. 15-14, Duke. You don't want to get that guy going if you're Duke. Prolific on the offensive end. And that was a three ball for DJ Horn. Filipowski, body bump, floats it in. And Raph, he's a right-handed player. Loves to finish in the paint with his left. Showing his versatility there. Flip going one-on-one. -on -one. And the first two of the night for Kyle Filipowski. And this is that middle open with the nice play. Of course, they called the foul at the end of it. A really a nice set. Stretches the defensive Duke. And that'll be the second foul on Tyrese Proctor. The Aussie. So Roach is back in. Proctor's going to get a breather. 8.31 to play in this first half. 17-14 Duke. And Blake's going to get after a nice slip. And they got to grab a thing on Blake's number two. So it's Blake's out front. Horn has been a little more active here, trying to get himself involved and insert himself into the offense. And, Raph, you see Filipowski. They're going to get out there and trap Horn anytime there's screen and roll action. Horn's smart to try to split that, drawing another foul on Blake. Horn grew up an NC State fan. Middlebrooks missed it. And he'll kick it. Diara. Too strong. The rebounds you got to come up with. And it's rebounded by Blake's. Demick Keats was saying, but the Aura just, he just settled for threes all the time. He's advanced his game through dribble drive and an exquisite rebounder as well. John Shire has been really impressed with NC State's defense and the disruption that they have. The running one-hander goes for Roach. About the hole, too. He did a nice job screening O'Connell off. Shire 
asked about playing them yet again. He said, look, they're better defensively than the last time we saw them. They're better rebounding than the last time we saw them. They're more connected offensively. Diara fills. Can't finish. Kalapowski flies in for the board. And a great contest by Mitchell without fouling as Diara trying to attempt that layup. And this is the largest lead for Duke. Five. Outside, Filipowski. Mitchell back in. A nice little screen. They get the big guy in. Nice time to Mitchell. The lead goes. What a great set. Threw a lot of things. A flare, a diagonal screen, and the extra pass. Boy, Duke is humming right now. Efficient on the offensive end. Together on the defensive end. Nice dive and timing. Mitchell, big time finish. The bigs prevail. Are you? The Bud Light Genie? Yeah. What's next? Bud Lights? I'm a genie. numbers Alabama rallies from the 13 point deficit to advance to the final four UConn one of the most dominant performances you will see what they did to Illinois in the second half including a 30 to nothing run bridging the first and second half awesome 21 14 Duke in front Graph right now North Carolina State they got to find some offense here Burns out of the game and Horn not really getting into the flow. A nice play with that. Oh, what a terrific move came up at the, the adjustment by Horn and it's out of bounds. Last touch by the Wolfpack. Duke will have possession chance to add to the lead when we come back. Did you know that if you shave
Ferrum College, played four years of basketball there. We mentioned the prep career as a head coach. He was the head coach at UNC Wilmington, very successful there, assistant at Louisville, Marshall, at Southwestern Michigan. He's done it right. Horn with a floater and a simple inline out of bounds play. But look, Duke has been in control. This team, North Carolina State, they can really get hot. And right now, Duke has got to really concentrate. The warranty going is huge. John will be upset because he said they gave many points up against this team on baseline out of bounds once again. McCain fake it. Empty side. And they got the switch they want now. Here's Roach. Squeezes for two. Turns and fights through for two. Strength. He can <laughs> cup it. 23-16, Duke. We are under six minutes to go in this first half. And where do you get your offense? Guard oriented without Burns on the floor. Screen set. Middle Brooks going off a double team. And a nice little rotation in the back. Mitchell really playing inside defense well. Marcel and a fade. In and out. Rebounded by Mitchell. Trying to extend the lead. Currently 23-16 Duke. Filipowski. Drive. Give it up. Blakes. Back it out. Had a good shot there, passed it up. It's a perimeter game right now. The original Blake's not the offensive threats of the other three. McCain, deep one. And Morcel steps in for the rebound. Five minutes to go, first half. Double drag there. He is so good. Result denied by Mitchell. Middlebrooks. And they keep it alive, 15 to shoot. Diara inside the arc, it's off. Right now, just out of sorts yeah, offensively, NC State. They rely so much on DJ Burns, can't get any flow or rhythm on that side of the ball. His feel for the game, obviously, has fingerprints over this team. They are down to 28% shooting. And no real point guard. Nice little take advantage. Oh, oh, Filipowski had it blocked by Middlebrook's break opportunity. O'Connell, right down the middle. Tough kid. Tough kid took advantage at Roche backtracking. And a timeout called by John Shire and Duke. Some signs of life for NC State. Creating in transition after the D. And this little run out due to terrific collapse defensively. And taking out Cattle out of Stanford. An intelligent move to the tip. <laughs> There's only one way to smash your goal while smashing nacho cheese chips. Cheating!
Live next Sunday, CBS presents the CMT Music Awards with performances by Jelly Roll, Keith Urban, Kelsey Ballerini, Lainey Wilson, Old Dominion, and more. The CMT Music Awards live next Sunday on CBS. Our game summary shooting numbers. Neither team shooting lights out by any stretch. Duke has gotten the free throw line 7 of 7 at the strike. And Bird right now flipped on the bench with one foul, but you have Ryan Young, Mitchell, and Blake. None of them are shooters for Duke. Guard Oriana right there. They run that little floppy set. Baseline bumps. And why not go? Roach, kick, deep one. McCain, short. Can't leave him rebounded him by O'Connell. Late close, too. O'Connell the pull-up. That doesn't go. Nice hustle by Diara. The track down Diara, keep it alive. Horn floats it up, missed it off the window. Battle for it, controlled by Young. Got to watch the other side. Quick kids, they got him. Kane hey, really knows how to get free. He will drive him. He's got the mismatch with Middlebrooks. Switch. McCain drives. And a call made. He's going to the free throw line. Diara was the last line of defense following him. Well, he could have used that left hand at the rim, too. I agree, but I like, I like it when guards, they don't settle when bigs are guarding. Attack the big. Put the pressure. McCain initiating that contact, drawing that foul. Once again, another foul for Diara. Two now. He and Burns both in foul trouble. Diara's reaction, you think it was in French or English, Bert? <laughs> Uh, I think it's the universal language. He disagreed. <laughs> McCain was quiet in the win over Houston, just seven points. But he has been the main source of scoring here for Duke as Diara will sit replaced by Burns. Chance here, he's got to be smart about his approach on both ends of the floor. Does have a tendency to use that forearm on both ends. And can sometimes get called for an offensive foul, That's backing I mean. people down, yeah. And the free throw numbers, big difference. Duke is 9 of 9. NC State is 1 of 2. Uh, he's got to get touches, Burns, if he's on the floor. Take advantage of his presence. Eight points for Burns. No assists. He was looking to pass it in the last round against Marquette. Well, Duke is playing him straight up, Bird. He bounces his way. Look at that. Hey. And the blockers. Horn could not finish. They collapsed on Horn. McCain gets the step, pulls up, and it died on the rim. 25-18 Duke, three minutes to go in the first half. NC State shot 54% in the first half against Marquette. They are at 28% tonight against Duke. Morcel, the jab and jumper, does it go? Rebound, back to the outside, Blakes hits the deck, and there's a scrum for it. That's why Blakes is in the game. Well, both Step teams like getting on the ground, <laughs> understanding what's at stake. And Love the tie-up. Reminder coming up, AT&T at the half. Ernie Johnson, Clark Kellogg, Jay Wright, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley. They'll break down the first half, show you how Purdue advanced to the final four. It's coming up on AT&T at the half. Possession arrow to NC State. that has got some good minutes from the bench as well. And Sean Stewart in the game, and Duke's win against State. He really battled in there against D.J. Burns. Had his best game of the season. Look at this denial. They worked hard on that. Great effort. He played well when he got in earlier. Out of bounds, Stewart. So he's back in. Filipowski is in. What they worked on yesterday, they want to front this pass, let him lob it, and get make the catch further out on the floor. And look at that. Burns posting up at the three-point line. But great effort there by Stewart. Just got to work as much as you can against Burns in that big body. Look at that roadblock. Switch it. Nice Burns hands. Couldn't catch it. Out of bounds. And Blakes was the reason. What a great set he had. You got your two toughest, most physical defenders out there in the two-man game, Blakes and Sean Stewart. Jaden Taylor back in. He replaces Horn. These two teams met March the 4th. Duke beat NC State 79-64. to Roach had 21 points. Then they play again in the ACC tournament on March 14th. And it's a 74-69 win for NC State where Horn goes for 18 points. Part of their magical run to get the NCAA tournament berth. Roach. Short Good defense. Good defense Thanks. there. Rebounded by Taylor, a blast up the floor. We approach two minutes to go in this first half. Taylor's a good attack guy. O'Connell, the pull-up. Rimming, no. Rebound knocked up in the air. Nice hustle here. Stewart first. McCain. Duke slows it down. Play called out 
by John Shire in his second year as the head coach at Duke. Part of the last two national titles for Duke. First as a player, then as an assistant coach. By Coach Krzyzewski. Lock it up. Stewart, the catch. Wow. The hesitation to bake it in. It's such a great move with the screening because of the zone up by Burns. How about the reaction? I I've never seen a double pump alley-oop right there. <laughs> Even you? <laughs> NC State has missed eight of its last nine shots. The lead has ballooned to nine for Duke. Ball fake. Taylor is fouled, and he gets it to go. Chance at a three-point play for the junior, Jaden Taylor. He is a tough kid, usually a top of the three knockdown. How about that right there? I mean, it's good defense. Reaching in there by Jalen Blakes. Bail him out right there, but you said it best. Tough. He can score. Been in and out. Has started at times for NC State. And one of those guys on the perimeter that can go get a bucket and make a play. Third foul on Blakes. Taylor, the transfer from Butler. And converts. Six-point game. A minute 19 to go in this first half. Uh, by and large, Zug has done a nice job keeping guards out of the lane. Horn for one. Taylor was able to do it that time. McCain being defended by Taylor using his length. Roach out front. We're going to hit one minute to play in this first half. Uh, Google getting burns out late here. Roach is going to call for the foul. Uh, Roach had been using that arm on uh, other drives. This time he gets caught. And Raph, they looked out of sorts right there. They didn't get into anything. Short clock right there. And Using that off arm wow. to try to gain the advantage. Oh, wait a second. I'll tell you. They was... may have called it on Filipowski, who was not really involved in the play. Well, wow. It was not a foul by Roche yeah. as we looked at it, so you may be right, Bert. Oh, he's battling there with Middlebrooks. Oh, he's holding it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, There's he... the call. Good call, Bert. Good call. Yeah. So that's number two on Filipowski. That's going to send Young into the game. The bigs right now for both teams, Burns and Diara, two fouls, Filipowski now. It says both coaches just want to get out of this half and get to the second half, not in foul trouble. That was not a real good, not a bright foul. The big that far from the rim, not even a post up. We are down to 50 seconds to play, first half here in Dallas. Burns, back in, missed it. And rebounded by Young. A nice shot by McCain, keeping it alive there. And for Young, you want that. A fadeaway by Burns. You can deal with that. And obviously, a good result for Duke. Wolfpack shooting 27% from the field. They are 9 of 33. Blake's defended by Horn. And this small lineup for North Carolina State causing problems for the offense of Duke. Well, they read that little pin down for McCain. Now he's out of control. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. Duke catches a break because it looked like it was going the other way. And only 4.1 on the shot clock. And this four-guard lineup defensively can't get into, into anything. The, the physicality just so disruptive. Active hands. Almost a turnover there. And NC State one of the best at scoring off of turnovers in transition. That gap D was great by O'Connell. McCain has scored 13. The rest of the Duke team has put up 14. I wouldn't let the guards get the ball here. Get it in. Young, three seconds, two seconds. McCain launches. And the banker doesn't go. Rebound. He doesn't have to go up with it. Could have kept it. And Blake's missed it on the inside. Opportunity here for NC State. Five seconds on the clock. O'Connell shifting gears. He loses the ball. Bounds. It was stripped and last touch by the Wolfpack. Jared McCain, hands, huh? tough as nails. Right there. <laughs> Look at him move those puppies and get those hands in there. And he gets that turnover too. Oh, good hand. Did the, the question is, did the ball go off of O'Connell? The refs called it. Can't, can't look right. at it from that angle. It looked like it should be NC State ball. Trigger in. Roach. And that's how the half will end. They showed the replay on the big screen, so as you can imagine, the NC State fans saw it and thought that he did not touch it, that it was McCain who slapped it. But it did hit the elbow. Good call, Bird. And then out of bounds. And it might have even hit the foot or the bottom portion of his leg. So uh, both clubs got to get the shooting coach to talk at halftime. All right, let's send it over to Tracy. Coach, how would you assess the final few minutes here as you head into the locker room? It completely disjointed. And, you know, look, both ways, I mean, it's a little bit of a slugfest. The thing that's been good is our defense. 
We just have to be a lot better on offense. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Tracy, end of the first half here in Dallas. One spot remains for the final four. Who's going to Phoenix, NC State, or Duke? Halftime, 27 to 21. The Blue Devils in front will send an AT&T at the half after these messages. Shire used disjointed. Yes, good, good word. word. Good, good word. word. Good description. Um, but Duke does have a 27-21 lead over NC State, this battle of ACC rivals. Welcome to at t at the half. Ernie Johnson along with Clark Kellogg, the coach Jay Wright, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. So the winner of this game goes on to the final four. And um, third time they've met this month. What are you seeing from Duke, coach, so far? I'm seeing good defense on both ends, and, and, I'm, and I'm seeing they're not turning the ball over. It's just good, tough, physical defense, and I, and I think Duke at halftime is going to talk about what are the good things we're doing offensively. We've got to find, number one, we've got to find Jared McClain in transition. When you get when you get him open, he's going to drill it. There's a baseline runner where he's got some space. Other than that, he didn't get space. The other thing they've done a good job is when Filipowski gets in an ISO, he likes to use his left hand, even though he's a righty around the basket. And then in a post-up action, they get a good rip cut right here. And Filipowski finds his teammate. That They're the two things they've done well, but NC State has taken them out of it. Mm -hmm. McCain's 7-for-7 seven seven from the foul line because he can't get free, so the only thing he can do is put his head down and drive. That's what they got to do, and they got to try to get Filipowski going. And he's 2 out of 8 from the field. He's got 13, only guy in the game in double figures. Meantime... Everybody's looking at DJ Burns on the. Hard NC. to take your eyes off. Yeah, no, he attracts court. attention. He yeah. does. He really does. And he done. He did a nice job. He actually is the only guy that scored effectively for NC State. I mean, he's made four of his eight shots, and there are two of them, or two of those misses that he'd like to have back. But there, he just creates space, uses those good feet and that ample body to get into. Filipowski and then go to the shot that he wants to take. Here he is again. Find him, feel him, finish him. 
And that's what he did there. But look at what the difference is when the other guys' shooting percentages are, are tallied. Five of 26. And they've had good looks. Kevin Keats talked about it in an interview um, with Tracy. Hey, we're getting good looks. We've got to finish. Which team is going to make shots, the good shots that they get? Both are playing good defense, but that's been a lot of bad yeah, shooting and finishing definitely. for those shooting percentages. Let's see if the UNC guy has detailed Duke pictures here from the first half. <laughs> I do, but I, I just abandoned them. <laughs> Why? <laughs> North Carolina... Blue would not let me show great <laughs> highlights. I will talk about them, but I cannot show them and talk about them. The floor is yours. And so defensively, I thought they were, they were really superb in the fact that they've decided to let Burns play one-on-one. -on -one. And they said, we're not doubling. Because there's a lot of ways to double the basketball. But they said, we're not giving guys open shots. So that's what the 5 for 26 comes from. You have one guy playing Burns. He doesn't have the passing angles that he had last game. And that was really good defense by that team from Durham. I will not show you. <laughs> I see two teams thinking about the Final Four instead of just playing basketball. You seem a little exasperated by that one, Chuckster. You know, the number one thing, and it sounds silly and stupid, I said, man, you got to control your breathing and relax. That's how you take tension and pressure off of you in pressure situations. You got, you know, because everybody gets nervous. People say, I'm not nervous. I'm not, yeah, everybody, it's not nervous like you're scared, just excited. Both of these teams are pressing. You did that when you yeah, played? Yeah, I controlled my breathing. Really? Yeah, you got to control your breathing or your heart rate, which, because there is tension in a game and things. So I, the coach to me that they, they said, guys, relax. You know, Jay talks about, it, he says, don't think about the results. Think, be in the moment. Think about play to play. Like, the, the, when I'm watching this game, I'm like, man, these teams are both tight. They're thinking about what's at the end of the tunnel, the Final Four. The coach is able to get it to guys, relax. That's the team that's going to win this game. I need to get you on the call, Matt. Breathing <laughs> <laughs> exercises with the Chuckster. Exactly. That would go over really good. He got pretty, um, pretty expansive on, uh, on, on describing it, too. Breathe, I can brother. Just, breathe. I can just imagine. Stick around. Well done, Barney. Thank you. We've got Purdue highlights. They're heading to the Final Four when we come back. This is the mark of a fighter. A rich, full-flavored lager with a crisp, refreshing taste. A reward.
from the line, and man, this game did not disappoint. <laughs> it sure did. Uh, no way. It sure did. Zach Eady was just so good. 40 points good and 16 rebounds. Wow. Yeah, he was fantastic. Got it to him often, and he Give. produced often. This was a counter move. He showed us a couple of those, and then connect. He was brilliant in his own right. Pilfer mm. to points, and Tennessee would not go away. This was a heck of a pass by Braden Smith to Zach Eady. And then this was probably the deciding play late when he was able to deny that shot attempt. And it was a matter of knocking down free throws down the stretch. The stars basically meeting at the summit right there. And that one was won by Zach Eady, who could cut down the nets without help of the ladder. Um, so they advance. And after the game, Zach Eady had a message for all the doubters. There were so many coaches that, that looked over me. Um, like, you could name a program, I could name a coach that looked over me. Um, the Tennessee, Rick Barnes is a great coach, but he, he was in a bunch of our practice, looked over me. Like, it, it's kind of been the story of my life. People have doubted me, people look past me, and can't do that anymore. Uh, <laughs> that sounds personal to me. That sounds yeah. personal. He is a driven dude, man. I'd love to have him on my team. You can see the fire he has. That we are winners. He always talks about, that's the first time I saw him really talk about himself. He talks about we are winners. This is what we do. It's, it, you can see how excited they are. They've, t they've, they've gotten past what everyone thought they couldn't do, get to the yeah. final four. Mm -hmm. Now they've got to refocus now. they got to get home for a day, let all this all the accolades come to him, and then you got to cut it out, stop it. Well, I tell you, you got to refocus for the final. When floor. you look at the intensity of his comments, I would think he'd be the ring leader in that quest, I along with so. Matt. That Fainer. was the first time I saw yeah. him with a little bit of satisfaction, like yeah, it, it's people, a, it, the edge. Which but is the good, edge is still it, there too. It's though. a good thing right now. You yeah. got to do it right, right now. You gotta that's celebrate right. It. That's it's right. That's right. Good thing. Yeah. The biggest thing is, you know, from someone who had been to the final four, then going back. There are two different. There's two different recipes, you know, for UConn and it was one for Purdue. This is going to be their first experience to when you go into the hoopla. That's a great point. And you go into the—I just remember the NBA Finals the first time being there, Charles, you can assess. Mm -hmm. After the first practice, and you have media from yeah. everywhere in the yep. world. You had over 600 media members there. Yep. And you have thousands of people watching your practice. That is an un yeah, that's a great, it is. comfortable really thing. Good point. UConn exactly. is going to walk in there and go, oh, this is what we do. Exactly this is right. where we've been. Well, so you have two different— well, but also, okay. those are two different albums. Like, for, for, you know, for Purdue, they've been expected to get there, and they haven't been able to go to the hump. I think there's a pile of just getting that monkey relief. off their yeah. back. Just relief. Because, man, if they didn't get there this year, it would have been difficult for them. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, Zach Eady and uh, Dalton Connect. They, these are the two guys you wanted to see yeah. come through. They both did, but it goes to Purdue, and they are on their way to the Final Four. Second half coming up, but first, let's see what coaches J.B. Smoove and Kayla are teaching their students in the AT&T Connect You classroom. You're a part of the team. You should be a part of the celebration. Mm. You got to stay connected to that team. They need you to root them on. Class, I need to see what you got. Ooh, oh, you can flex. I see you, baby. Yeah, go team. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh the bow and arrow. I love the bow and arrow. Oh, oh, look what we did. We did that. Oh, the shock and amazement. Oh. Connect to the madness. AT&T. Like a bunch of groceries, all this cheese and greens just come to me. Freedom you can't take your eyes off. The new 2024 Jeep Wrangler and Gladiator. Jeep, there's only one. During the Jeep celebration event, purchase and get $2,000 cash allowance on the 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Don't miss this great offer. Visit your local Jeep dealer today. You and I are standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. There's no army of this earth. It's going to stop those wagons coming. Use that much this year? Haven't had much need of it yet. Looks like we got ourselves a bad man right here. Horizon, an American saga. The journey begins June 28th. Rated R. 
The three for me, only at Chili's, serves up more deliciousness for just $10.99 than you'll find anywhere else. I mean, have y'all seen those fast food prices lately? It's like even they want you to come to Chili's. This Chili's three for me is the best $10.99 you can eat. Campuses nationwide, the NCAA is making transformative changes for student athletes. While they pursue their biggest dreams, we're launching new initiatives to help them. Life changing education opportunities are just the start. The NCAA is providing enhanced mental health services. We're guaranteeing scholarships and tuition and expanding access to health care. Visit ncaa.org/slash change to learn more. This telecast is copyrighted by the NCAA for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any picture, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NCAA consent is prohibited. Head to Bleacher Report for the latest episodes of From the Point by Trey Young. Featuring the basketball star's conversations with A-list guests and his unique perspective on stories from around the league. Download the Bleacher Report app now to watch. Second half is coming up. One of these two teams only 20 minutes away from a trip to the Final Four in Phoenix. We're back after this. One kill. in your wallet geico whatever you need get more with geico nissan official partner of march madness and by the u.s army be all you can be Right now, let's take a look at our Home Depot first half stats. Duke in front, 27 to 21. Neither team shot it well. Just one three-pointer made for NC State. Duke had just two, but Blue Devils have made their free throws. Turnovers have been limited. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. It's a lead for Duke, but it almost feels like a win for NC State in many ways, only to be down by six. Only 25 miles separate the two areas between Durham and Raleigh. So, you know, in the trial 
my angle, this game means a whole lot. There's a lot on the line for these two schools. Well, in-conference opponents breeds familiarity. Both teams understand each other. They know the sets. But they're competing on, on defense really well. Offense just out of sorts. they got to calm down. And they got to get good shots and just play relaxed. D.J. Burns is their spiritual leader. It's Easter Sunday. It's like... <laughs> He's the head. I mean, he's the key guy. He's got those two fouls now back on the floor. It runs through him. They get right back in this. Get more from Tracy. Well, I spoke with Kevin Keats coming out, and he said both teams, he felt like, came out a little tight. He said he, we had good looks. The shots just weren't falling, but he said the difference definitely has been the free throw shooting. His message to his team, just settle down, continue to play defense, and make some shots. Yeah, no doubt about it, Tracy. When Keats was asked about what has triggered this run, he said... The guys are trusting one another. They're playing for one another. They've gotten better defensively. They've gotten stronger as the tournament goes on. And I am part of their identity during this tournament is sharing the basketball, playing good defense. Got to get back to that if you're state. The jumper doesn't go for Proctor to open up this second half. Nice look by Mitchell. And that's the matchup at the other end. He, Mitchell's going to have to screen a lot. It burns out of the mix. Eight straight wins for NC State going back to March the 12th when they defeated Louisville in the ACC tournament. They trailed in that game. That was not a guarantee by any stretch. And amazing what this run has done. That is nifty from Burns. A spin for DJ. This footwork's incredible. It really is. I think you have to release a little and regain position. Once he gets you and controls you, he just spins with that dirty air. Beautiful fashion. Another way of saying bottom, correct. 27-23, Duke. Nice screen. Roach had a shot, didn't take it. Instead, it's McCain. And a long rebound to O'Connell. They push it up the floor. Horn, he lost his footing, lost the ball, out of bounds. And the senior right there, the maturity of Jeremy Roach. Got yelled at in the first half for poor transition defense, but getting his hands in there, forcing that turnover, particularly on D.J. Horn, who is so good in transition. You know, they say hand, wrist, part of the ball. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of the ball, though. No, he Heck of a play. But Horn is still holding his wrist. Roach, clear the area, one-on-one -on -one with Diara. Filipowski was asking for it. And now he is in an isolation with Burns. And over help, they kick it out. Filipowski powers in for two. And right there, Raph, he faced up. And he was able to attack, knowing that Burns has those two fouls. And Filipowski getting to that left hand where he's so comfortable. 29-23, Duke. Nice screen to get him free. The pass. Off the double, DR didn't catch it cleanly. And now he's in a tough spot. Swing it. O'Connell missed it. Long rebound, Morcel hits the deck, Bobby's flying, McCain trying to save it, and he does for Roach. How about this fine? Proctor! Nice rebound, run. Filipowski, but can't finish it. Ball fake, Mitchell intercepted, it's a two-on-one, O'Connell running. Nice kick. Horn will do it himself for two. How about that sequence? Woo! Now it's heating up a little bit. 29-25, Duke. I love it. Filipowski running the floor. They came up empty, but what an effort. Horn is now 3 of 10 from the field. He's got 7 points. Are they going to wipe the floor off? I think they've got time. So you had two bodies go down along the sideline on the previous possession, and there is some stickiness. This is a really good give early, too. Not hesitating, though, kind of wisely dishing that baby off. John imploring his guys to settle down, calm down. A lot of basketball left. I tell you, guys flying around, diving on the boards. Big guys running the court. <laughs> They're laying it all out here this second half. I think that's key when you're talking about Burns, too. And Burns will, will, will play off of Mitchell and kind of muck things up there in the middle. Well, that's why he's either has to drive or scream for people. Drop defense. McCain loops it in. And he's a three-point shooter, but a slasher loves to get into that paint. 
timely bucket there for Duke from Jared McCain. 15 of Duke's 31 points belong to Jared McCain. Got to be careful there on that post-up D. Filipowski, a lot of hands. Feed it on a bounce for Burns. One-on-one, -on -one. Burns, turns, Burns, scores. And this is old-school basketball right here. Two centers going at it. Once again, Duke opting to play one-on-one. -on -one. Well, John doesn't want the threes, though. That's why he's staying home. I think he got to stump a little, maybe. And right now, North Carolina State, one for eight from the three-point line. So, sticking to the game plan if you're Duke. Mitchell trying to get around Burns. Not easy, but it does. How about that attack? He's got to do more of that. Yeah, good footwork. Make Burns work. Six points for the sophomore from Kansas City, Kansas, Mark Mitchell. A uh, good switch here, Grant. Yeah, right now, Mark Mitchell guarding Burns, maybe to help Filipowski keep him out of trouble. Diara misses on a three ball, rebounded by McCain. That's not what they need right now. The three-point numbers have been abysmal here for NC State. One of nine. Got to get Horn going at the rim. Sell as well. Screen. Mitchell used by Proctor. Wrench to the rim. Look at that check. <laughs> I was going to say box out, but it was all box. Oh and rebound. God. Didn't even jump. He took out the baseline. So Burns gets it started. Up the floor, O'Connell. Bounce back door. Horn give it up. To Rocks the rim. It started by going under on the whip. Opened up that back door opportunity. Nice five by O'Connell and the extra look. We've got a four-point game. 15 22 to go in the second half. First two of the night for Diara. Proctor. Bounce it. Mitchell. It's going to challenge Burns again. Mitchell, no fear, but it rims out. Foul call. A nice little move. The dude made an adjustment to attack Burns. A great backdoor. Sharing is carrying. North Carolina State. Getting their rhythm offensively. We got a ball game. Hey, thanks for the ride, guys. Earn double miles on our tickets with the Capital One Venture Card. Is a blimp the best way to get to the Final Four? It is when you look this handsome. It's the app. just two weeks, we head to Augusta National Golf Club for a tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. It is going to be a special Masters for legend and Dallas staple Vern Lundquist. 
It was yeah. great working with a real <laughs> What year do you think that was, Rev? Uh, 1938, maybe? Yes, it was 1938. We got the <laughs> That's photo. unbelievable. So Vern was the man here in Dallas. Right. He was sports director at the local TV station. He was the voice of the Cowboys. He hosted Bowling for Dollars. Mm -hmm. He did it all. Absolutely. And he's the best. And the 16th green. Called some unbelievable shots. In your life. That Tiger's Nike swish falling in, as you recall. You're a big fan of the Masters, I know. Very much so. First free throw miss for Duke. Now 9 out of 10. Mitchell had a layup there. Couldn't finish it. And misses on a pair. Brian's got to get going, I think. Get Horn involved a little bit more. Or so we don't get in the lane. He can elevate over Roche as well. I think it's got to, like you said, more sell and Horn. It's got to be the offense here for NC nice State. Switch. Nice switch, though. Third foul on Burns prior to the timeout. So Middle Brooks is in there. Marcel probing. Excellent D. O'Connell. Bounce it. Middle Brooks. Kick it. Diara. Yep, he experience. Alert. Yep. Virginia first. Two point game. Roach using the Mitchell screen. Filipowski fake on a three. Pretty spin. He's fouled by Diara. So three on Burns, three on Diara for NC State. I like that attack mode though, but right here, Marcel uh, doing the damage here. Gets the inside position on that switch, takes advantage, and why not? The leader of the pack. How'd you like his little <laughs> diamond medal? Did you see that? Yeah, he had a lot of bling Bl on yesterday. Four points, eight rebounds for Kyle Filipowski. And Rafter, you said it best. That last play, he didn't settle Kyle Filipowski. Great shot fake. And it's amazing. He likes to get to that left hand. Beautiful spin That's move right. in traffic. I but like he, him in that attack mode, though. I think he's a better player. Sets up an open three on occasion. He wears the same uniform number that John Shire wore during his days at Duke, number 30. Oh, that's up to the coach. <laughs> it's funny that that's how you took that factoid. 35-31, Duke. Foul trouble, Diara, Burns, three apiece. Blakes has three for the Blue Devils. They really worked hard on defending that horns whip around. Horn, kick, O'Connell. He looked to the inside, 12 to shoot. And this little back switches contain the dribble drive. Marcel lost it, off his foot. Turnover, excellent. Perimeter D as well. Duke is looking for their 18th Final Four third in NCAA tournament history behind Kentucky and North Carolina. Setting up a high-low here. Proctor, 10 on the timer. Duke up by four. Screen, Young, switch. Jab, jumper, off the rim. And I thought right there, that possession, DR with three fouls, post him up with yeah. Filipowski. That ball stuck there. Open the door, have a three. Tell you what, you got to respond. This kid can light it up quickly. Big time gamer. 10 points for DJ Horn. 35 34, Duke, and a foul. Underneath Marcel, I think, with a hold. Marcel got tied up a bit with Filipowski. Hey, Raph, they're so good throwing it in, finding Look at all that in transition. Money. No conscious whatsoever. That's a good shot in North Carolina State's offense, and Horn not afraid at all of the moment. Played for your pal, by the way, Bobby Hurley, as you Played, know. Yeah. Played for Bobby at Arizona State. Activity away from the ball. Middlebrooks and Filipowski collide. And the foul called on the NC State big, Ben Middlebrooks. That's his first. Trying to get over the screen right there and just both guys being physical. Middlebrooks strong, frustrated. Flip might have sold that a little bit. He is a good backup, though. Gives him that different look. Opens up opportunities at the rim. Corner three. Overcooked it. Proctor. Chance for NC State to take the lead. Horn. Twisting and turning. He's fouled. He is in overdrive. Always. Headed to Phoenix. Download the Men's Final Four app presented by AT&T to help you plan, enjoy, and take part in all the excitement of the weekend. Available for iOS and Android. 
Free throws here for Horn. Jeremy Roach picks up the foul. Now they can turn it up the other end quickly. We take bad shots and get stuck on that offensive end. Boy, fill the lanes and not afraid to attack the rim. Well, I love DJ Horn. He can shoot the three in transition right there. Didn't settle. Attacked, put pressure, and went right at Roach. Forced the contact and forced the officials to make that foul call. DJ Horn grew up 10 minutes from the NC State campus. First at Illinois State. His mom and dad, Tavona and Lamar, would take their RV, known within the family as Gladys, all around the country to watch DJ play. He transfers to Arizona State. They go out there with the RV. Well, Gladys did a good job. <laughs> Gladys is still running. Gladys has a lot of miles. 36-35, first lead since 8-7 for the Wolfpack. Now, this lineup, I think you've got to get screen. something inside. Your rip screen for flip into the post. Blakes. Looks for Filipowski. One on one with DR. Playing with three fouls. Bumping bodies. Filipowski gets the roll and the foul. Got to ride it. Duke's got to use him frequently. Quickly without Burns on the floor. I think he can do a lot of damage. And it's number four on Diara. Yeah, great there. Getting to the middle. Using that physicality. And going through the arms as he's going up to the rim there to initiate that contact. And with Burns out of the game, Filipowski taking advantage, picking up that fourth foul on Diara. So Burns back in, Diara to the bench. And Diara is so important. I mean, he has been so valuable to this team, North Carolina State, during this run. He hasn't been able to get on track today, though. Not, he really hasn't. not making the shots. I think there's more that Filipowski can give. Big upside. So many areas of the floor he can dominate. 38-36 Duke. Offense has picked up just a bit in the second half. Burns trying to back in. Oh, nice hole. Oh, they got a foul late on Young. He almost tried to pull yeah. the chair right yeah. there he like did. Rick Mahorn. But as he's backing down Burns, it looked like Young gave up some space. Burns almost lost his balance. And I'm not sure I saw a whole lot of contact there. But I, I, I like the late stunt, though. Right. A little more of that. Well, both teams opting yeah. to play one-on-one -on -one yeah. in the post. I think you've got to help at some point. Just a hand down there and then recover. Here's Burns. Floats it up and in. Mr. DJ turned the music up for NC State. We're tied at 38. I use Young to screen, I think. Eight minutes gone by in the second half. Contact. Offensive foul, Filipowski. I'll tell you, I love the toughness of Ben Middlebrooks right there. He got screened, got under the screen there, and anticipated correctly. Flip dropped that left shoulder right into the chest of Middlebrooks right there. His feet were moving, but he still was in position. Great call right there. And saying both teams defensively giving it their all. They certainly know one another. They do. I mean, they do. Yeah, it's scouting report. No, no scouting report needed no. in this game. Mark Mitchell back on the floor. Filipowski heads to the bench. Three fouls. Tiara on the bench for NC State with four. Burns on the court with three. I'd like to post him here at the top. Horn trying to shake off Blakes. Horn floats it up. Gets the bounce. Uh, he is such a confident kid in that lane. Then he releases and feels. Again, the quick timeout. The big lineup effective right now for North Carolina State. It's a back of road in Texas. NC State on two on two. Winner goes to Phoenix. Y'all don't need a right time. Here's another tip from the Tool Shack. How to avoid a one-seed upset. Hey, Shaq, what's the number one seed this spring? It's lettuce. You don't want to upset that seed. Don't push it down too far. That's a big green thumb, dude. Everyone's hyped that Wendy's made the official hamburger of March Madness a buck. Yeah! But Tyler and Toby are on another level. Get it for a buck. Get it for a buck. Dave Singles. Dave Singles. Get hyped with fresh, never-frozen beef on Wendy's Dave Single for a buck. Only in the app.
Irresistible from every angle. The first ever Buick and Vista. Buick. Exceptional by design. Liquid IV powdered hydration. Now it's sugar-free. Scientifically formulated to deliver three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. Packed with flavor and zero artificial sweeteners. Liquid IV. Johnson in New York. Into it. TurboTax moves of the game. Purdue is into the final four. First time since 1980 as they knock off Tennessee. Zach Eady, 40 and 16 and no need for a ladder. Back to Ian Eagle. <laughs> Ernie, that is tremendous. That might be the shot of the tournament right there. <laughs> Congratulations, Purdue. Final four bound. UConn, Alabama punched their tickets last night. Looking forward to seeing all of them in Phoenix and which team is going to join them. Edie, not bad for a hockey player, huh? No, not bad. Farmer. Trying to get Phil Filipowski right back in. Filipowski back in on Burns, playing with those three fouls. Filipowski tried to massage it in, and it's rebounded by Horn. And very disciplined there from Burns with three fouls, not fouling. And Raph, right now, the second half, NC State 73% from the field. First half, they were 27%. And Grant, they are 7 of 7 on two pointers in the second half. This is where he is dangerous right here. You sneak a peek, he finds people, loves that drop step just like that. that Burns, what touch! And Raph, if you're going to play him straight up and let him get to his spot, here he's unguardable. It's over. It feels effortless when he gets to that place. And very automatic. 16 points, 8 of 12 from the field. The drive there you go. Reverse doesn't it. go for Roach. But knocked out of bounds off of NC State. They've had opportunities at the rim. He's looking clean.
Okay. Who programmed you? I'll see you tomorrow. The future isn't scary. Not investing in it is. 100 innovative companies, one ETF. Before investing carefully, read and consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, expenses, and more in prospectus at Invesco.com. It's Burns, back to back. DJ with the nimble feet. He spin the feed. He's got it. He has that pull-up game. Beautiful. It's Stewart with the vacation. Look out here. McKay, that's a deep one. It transition. This kid is dynamite. Game summary, NC State, the 11th seed in the South, leading Duke, the 4 seed, 42-38. to 38. The big key here, NC State was held to 21 points in the first half. So far in the second half, they've outscored the Blue Devils 21-11. to 11. And they were lucky to be down only six yes. at halftime with the struggles they had and the foul trouble in that first half, NC State. Hey, Grant, I like this lineup right now. Get the screen from Mitchell. Get in the lane if you can. Roach floats it up. Up shot. Rims out. Rebound. Back to the outside. Taylor's got it for the Wolfpack. Whoops. Burns got caught up. <laughs> it's the only way to stop him. Now they have the smaller Mark Mitchell guarding Burns. Nice pass to the right hand. Burns missed it on the floater. Rebound. But hustle. Scooped up. Keeps it alive. And NC all, State extended possession. And all the 50-50 balls right now yes. going NC State's way. Horn sizing up Proctor. He gets the double. Horn now single coverage. Six to shoot. Horn looking for an open. Nice pass. Off the double team. Middlebrooks is fouled. That's going to get Filipowski or Mitchell. He tried to corkscrew his body Filipowski. And it's going to be number four on Kyle Filipowski. Oh, that was a great pass right there. So great patience by Horn. And then it, the, the ball fakes in there, the shot fake, and Filipowski. But Middlebrook with a great cut and curl to get free. And John Shire's upset. He thought the foul, if anything, should have been on the front side with Proctor. And this one is getting away from Duke. 9.49 mark of the second half. Middle Brooks to the free throw line where he shoots it at 74%. Ryan Young will check in after the first to replace Filipowski. Middle Brooks just does nice little things. I mean, so aware. Obviously a wonderful look, but great presentation. So here comes Young, the sixth year senior. Another one here for Middle Brooks. Brings strength mobility outstanding rebounder and he probably made lunch today so he didn't have to run on the sideline right? <laughs> he was late the other day did a little wind spread here and there a little he did, he he did ran for 20 minutes i think they forgot him <laughs> this is the largest lead for nc state six it's a guard lineup right now uh, not a good foul that far away and it's going to be called on taylor duke has just five points in the last nearly seven minutes of action. And I, and at halftime, Tracy talked with John Shire and just said we're out of sorts offensively. But that has carried over here into the second half, just not getting into their stuff and not playing and shooting with confidence. McCain, they need a jolt here, eight to shoot. Swing it. Roach splits defender, drives in, so and good. finishes. So good at the lane. They need his experience, his tenacity, his aggressiveness. Got to put a stamp on it if they want to win it. Eight points for Jeremy Roach, the senior. 44-40, NC State. There's the play they love. And he'll bounce his way and read what you're going to do. If you overhelp, he'll find. There's a turn. Step, spin, burns. He's a cheat code. What do you do? What do you do? Well, if you double team, he's so good at finding shooters. But straight up, he is just carrying this team down low. He gets in that lane. Forget about it. 18 points. 9 of 14 from the field. He leads all scores. Oh, and that's a travel. Field. Up and down. He was trying to get rid of it to Young. Uncharacteristic. Usually in these situations... Roach is so good, calming presence right there, just a little indecision. But even Burns with a little, little handhelds too. When they switch Ryan Young now, he will have the challenge of trying to guard and contain Burns. Corner, look at this kid. Silky smooth. You get him go, it goes hard of plenty. Duke needs a timeout right now. And they do. Both DJs. 
are spinning it. 48 to 40. Wolfpack with the lead. Jalen. It's time to connect to the madness with the House of Highlights fan cam powered by AT&T 5G. In the stands, with the fans. This is the perspective right at midcourt. High fives all around when Duke made a play. Right now it's NC State making all the plays. Got a 48-40 to 40 lead over the Blue Devils. And right now, too, I think the collective experience of this NC State team Obviously, a lot of new faces on this team this year, but you have older guys not making excuses at all, but you see the maturity on display and the adjustments coming out of that half. And this, they've done everything right on both ends of the floor and obviously feeding the big fella. And they have come together at the end of the year, and D.J. Horn will give him a little room. He's going to light it up. What a confident offensive player. And Filipowski back on the floor for Duke with just over eight minutes to play in this second half. Let's check in with Tracy. Well, John Shire calling that timeout, his message to his team. We are right there. It's okay, but we need to know where DJ Horn is at all times. And offensively, we need to move the ball. And specifically, he also mentioned, get after those loose balls, those 50-50 balls. We need to win them. Filipowski lost it around the rim. The question, nobody was, touched it. They're saying to touch. It was touched by NC State. I didn't so, know if he got fouled. Oh, oh no, oh. no, please. Please, it. I know the box roll. I know what a critical juncture. He's just pleading. He's not arguing. And what happened, obviously, Kevin Keats called for a technical foul. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Goodness. And again, but it, but a reaction to the rule. I know they're told That's he's complete out of the coach. Bullshit. Why not warn him? You're permitted a warning. Oh, such a key play. He, he may be right, and yet he's punished. That's, That's terrible. terrible. So the technical on Keats for extending outside the box. And by the way, he was justified in questioning it. I know, it's just, coach, take it easy. We got it. And he doesn't have that kind of temperament easy either. Just a nice, easygoing guy that coaches his team. 
So McCain nails a pair of free throws to make this a six-point game. So it's a ball they don't get. And a chance for now four or five points on one trip. It could be a huge swing here for, in Duke's favor if they could convert and score. And keep in mind, the call on the floor was that last touch NC State. We just saw a couple of replays. It was Filipowski who just it slipped, it out, it, it slipped, out, slipped of out of his hand. Get it inside. Ball gets knocked around over to Proctor. Puts it up. Off balance. Doesn't go. Knocked out of bounds. Going the other way. And Proctor has, yeah, he has struggled here tonight from three inside. 0 for 7. And you see Kevin Keats near the, near the scores table there. Yeah, there Rav. it is. He frustration extended out right towards midcourt and past the coaching area. Get it ahead. They handle the pressure. Second half shooting. NC State is 11 of 15. Duke is 5 of 17. You maybe throw a quick trap on the catch. But I, I think you got to do something. Got to do something. Yeah. There's Burns. Double. They do come with one. Taylor. Extra. Horn. And, and get back at home. Six to shoot. Horn makes his move on Proctor. Pulls up. Short. Good defense there from Proctor. Rebounded by McCain. The length of Proctor giving some trouble there for Horn on that jump shot. They changed the scheme too. McCain gets a touch. Low dribble. McCain shows it. And taken away by Middlebrooks. What a job he's been doing, this kid. Get it up the floor. O'Connell steps into it. Oh, splash! They got a foul as well on the floor. And I think it might be Mitchell, right? Well, Middlebrooks drawing that foul on Mitchell. But getting the steal. And we know NC State, they love to play with pace. They find shooters. Middlebrooks attacking down there. As the three goes through from O'Connell, and there was contact inside as Mitchell and Middlebrooks were fighting there for position. And how about Middlebrook? The play at the other end. They're going to take a look at this, see if there's any damage, any flagrant. First foul called against Mitchell. That was as the ball went up from O'Connell. So there was... Bodies going down there. McCain initially, then Middlebrooks gets clipped by Mitchell as he was trying yeah. to go down the lane to rebound. Yeah, Mitchell extended Push. that left arm right there. You saw Jared McCain fall. And well, you watch this state team. O'Connell bites you at the most opportune times or inopportune for you. Well, how about that? Just the three bigs you have of NC State and how they're all different and how they play in impact winning. DR not having the game he's had the last six or seven. But Middlebrook more and you know more than capable, and you see here the little shiver there that you do to me at the comment foul. Like the think. check comes. Officials have made a determination. It, it's a foul. It's just I, you don't think it's an F one. No, I would say, and it will be a common foul. Doug Sermons, Brian O'Connell, good conversation. Michael Irving there. Common foul. Common foul. You're like, a, you're like a thousand percent this uh, tournament run, Bill. Yeah, so far. Gene, the machines uh, falter a little, but I'm a top oh, Gene's <laughs> Money. So this is a, this? another look at it. He just got shoved down by Mitchell, who then ended up down on the ground because he got hit down low by his own teammate. So now NC State will have possession after the foul call. And, and Bird, they've had trouble on the baseline out of bounds. They've had trouble stopping Burns. Yeah. How do you stop this kid? Look at this drop step. Burns. He too easy. It. He owns it. He can play like that till he's 90. Such a wonderful feel. He has got 20 points. Duke faces its largest deficit of the tournament. 53-42. And they got a little perfect down on the box trying to extricate Filipowski. Yeah, complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. And, Bert, you were doing DJ spinning, talking about the records. He can dance. His footwork is incredible. Wolfpack basketball, it's going pretty well right now. The women's team advanced to its first Final Four since 1998. The men's team trying to get to the Final Four for the first time since 1983. And Duke in some trouble here, 641 to play. And this stretch they've been on these last eight games for NC State. This is the time of the game where they really excel. They're able to close out their opponent 
suffocating defense and great execution, which is pretty much what they've done this whole second half. And Stewart back on the floor. You get some movement, some excitement on the defensive end. Maybe get some runouts if you do. That is 18 fouls against NC State. So Filipowski making the first on the front end of the one and one. Connects on the second. It's 53-44 Wolfpack. 32-17. NC State has outscored Duke in the second half. And Rams, they got that two, two, one. But they got to get some stops. I yep. mean, NC State, they're shooting 72%. 13 of 18 from the field here in the second half. Most of that has been DJ Burns. Start on Taylor. Oh, no, you can't sell out like that to this kid. Banker, no blocking foul. Well, well, first of all, yes, definitely a foul, but the courage of Roach oh. to take a charge on D.J. Burns. He saw his life oh, going. Oh, man, I know not the play that Duke wanted, but he leaned in there and stepped, <laughs> sacrificed his body. And thankfully for him, he's still in the game. But Filipowski, you can't gamble on that play right there. You have to be solid defensively. So D.J. Burns, 68% shooter, first time at the line tonight. 20 points. Tack on another. Watch Masters Live for exclusive coverage of Amen Corner. Holes 15 and 16 and featured groups. Watch live on the CBS Sports app. Boy, he is a tough assignment. He's such a unique no. player. Nobody in college basketball plays like DJ Burns. So unique. Dwight Keith Burns Jr. It's like Zach Randolph with Shaquille O'Neal's personality. <laughs> <laughs> he should be doing some commercials. Kick it out. Jumper McKay, they need it. Didn't good get hustle. hustle. That's what this Stewart brings to it down. You got a good look there. Filipowski can't hit the three. Long rebound. Roach looks the tight rope and saves it. We are under six minutes to go. Roach turns the corner. Trying to leave it for Stewart. Knocked up in the air. Out of bounds off of Burns. Hot potato. Well, first of all, great hands on that deflection. Initially with by him. bad hands. Trying to catch that ball. Burns laughing, but just the great instinct right there. Look to, at the hands. I mean, it's amazing. Just could not secure the ball there on that play. And Duke is now 2 of 13 from three-point territory. 0 of 6 in the second half. Get it in, Filipowski. They'll keep on firing. Sure. Air ball. And, and, and still, look, they didn't need a three. No, that possession, I, there were three three-point attempts this by drop, Duke. This drop coverage is really harm the offensive scheme and Stewart on the floor I think he's got to become a screener now particularly with the drop but what was this short because there was contact well he hit yeah. his arm after the shot there you could you could call that a foul but I, I think you still can be aggressive attack get to the paint maybe draw fouls if you're Duke to set up your defense NC State leads by 10 and no hurry either five and a half remaining in regulation a little pin down and a lock Marcel looking for Burns Trying to get a good angle to enter it. Screen. DJ jumper. DJ Horn. Out of bounds. Off of Duke. And Ben Middlebrooks there. He's always in the mix, this kid. What do you need, coach? Just the high energy physicality puts pressure on you. And right there, long rebound. Filipowski too far under the basket to get that long rebound. Really got to drive and try and get to the foul line the other end of your Duke. You're not making the threes. You get a couple around the rim, get to the free throw line, maybe a kick out for an open look. And this team certainly stayed solid at both ends. Toss it in. Burns. One on one with Stewart. Give it up. High, high off the window. The cut, the setup, the fine. 56-44 NC State. He's got 18 points, 13 of the second half. Roach hey, crosses in. Delivered by Middlebrooks. Outside. Proctor and a three ball. That won't go. Discard. Filipowski. And he's hit the quota. It's been that kind of night there for Filipowski. Really frustrated. A couple of fouls on his part early in the first half. Middlebrooks got physical. He threw him out of the way. Down low, fighting with O'Connell. And you just can't throw him down as he did. And Does that typify this team, though? The feistiness, the big-time kiss, 
The cut to set it up. That was a play. I think they ran that yeah, they, play out of the out of bounds. Get the ball to Burns. And then, of course, Horn just went around the horn. <laughs> Curled to the basket. And this team here, it's been all state here in the second half. 11 points, 9 rebounds. Kyle Filipowski's night is over. Team foul number 7 on Duke. O'Connell, an 80% shooter. Played at Chaminade High School, star in lacrosse and basketball, then a prep year at Blair Academy, missed the free throw. NC State leads by 12. McCain, off the hesitation, that won't go. Nothing is going down for Duke. Shots they generally make. This team wears on you, State. Four and a half remaining. They are 5 of 23 in the second half. Burns left open. Nice and easy. Burns. Look at drop. Another for DJ Burns. You're not going to play horse with him, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the floater and the smile. The magic of the NCAA tournament. Roach. That goes down. The world finding DJ Burns. Ability out. Timeout. Smart play right there, Horn. How pretty is this? Great footwork, great touch, great personality. Fans happy. All of Raleigh happy. NC State. <laughs> that smile, huh? What does it take to achieve greatness? To rewrite history and go places no athlete has ever gone before? It takes passion, heart, and a community that's there for you every step of the way. State Farm is proud to cover greatness. So what is the next big thing? Well, Galaxy believes the next big thing is you. Me. Yes, look at you. You're open to experiment. You open your... new sidekick at Subway today. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Huge second half for NC State. They lead it 58 to 46 over Duke. Let's take a look at the Capital One rewarding performance. Well, it's been all this man right here, DJ Burns, footwork, getting out. Of course, his teammate Horn, the DJs, we talked about them at the start of the, the game here tonight. Kevin Keats has his team just playing superior basketball. And look, dancing to the music. He's like Iron over here. No <laughs> long song, dancing during the game. No, he's got rhythm. Burns has got rhythm. Burns got the words. 
This is an 11 seed, NC State, making this happen right now in the South Regional Final. O'Connell gets ahead. Burns! It's close by Stewart. It's going to count. I thought that was a good block. I thought that was good, too. What hustle to get back there. And, and yeah, that looked good from that angle from where we are. But they're going to check? Well, yeah. No, yeah. That looked clean from that angle. Yeah. See. Stewart getting up really high. I thought he got it before it hit the glass. I wish I could have jumped that high. Yeah, well, I think you did all right, though. Amazing this personality that exudes with Burns. Mm. But the, with the awareness to, to find him. During the getting pressured right there, the guards finding Burns wide open. Gene Steratore is with us right now. Gene, you just saw the replays that we saw. What do you think? I'm going to try to up my percentage iron and go with Raph on this one and say it's a good block uh, iron. It, he hits it before it hits the glass. It's on its upward trajectory. I think they go with a, a clean block. They take the goal 10 away. The next step is that this is a loose ball when that whistle does occur then. So by rule, they should go to the a possession arrow and they should give NC State the basketball. Can we go back to that technical foul, Gene, for a moment? I agree with you on that. Is that a warning situation by, by your book? You, you know, Raph, I I'm not down there. I don't know what coach said. If it's an emotional reaction, he's a step or two out of the box because of a tight out of bounds or something. He just feels like they missed. Uh, again, I'm not down there. I don't okay. know what words were spoken. But, yeah, in a, in a case of just an emotional step out of the box, one or two steps, would you like to have somebody say, you know, uh, back up, get in the box, I'm coming to talk to you? Uh, yeah, but but by rule, he's out of the box. Hey, right? Gene, uh, we're going to open up the phones in this Ask Gene <laughs> segment. We have a call from Skokie. <laughs> Go ahead, for Gene. Oh, no. By the way, we have we, we have DJ here and we have Gene dancing in the no, York we do. over that answer. <laughs> Gene, thank you. We have the officials here that are determining what took place. Duke felt very strongly that Sean Stewart got the block. And, Raph, you and Grant were on it right away. Look at the puck. He is such a well, charming kid. Kevin Keats, he was asked about what's been the key to this run. He said the key to our success, we're really having fun. And, and that's been legitimate. And you can feel it. You can feel it watching them here today in this game. And, of course, meeting with them yes. yesterday, watching them in practice. Just a great spirit and energy. And really, it comes from their DJ, DJ Burns. Absolutely. And, oh, man. You know, Kevin, a charming guy when you get to meet him and know him. Knew him when he was with Matino at Louisville. Just relaxed during the turmoil that Tracy talked about. So much they but, had to inherit. Yeah, he, exactly. Yes. They had great problems. They had uh, NCA situation. He weathered that storm. And only a guy that has belief in himself, a comfort of what he's trying to accomplish, could do this. And th this team right now, Bird, uh, they're, <laughs> they're on the mission. They are. And it shows. And the success of the ACC has been evident in this tournament, but the success of NC State has really stood out. Doug we Sermons. do not have goaltending. Okay, we have a good block. I blew the whistle, Roach has the ball. So it's Duke's ball on the end line with 30 seconds going the other they way. Possession. They had possession when I blew the whistle, Roach has the ball. All right. Thank you, Doug. They so, had so, possession, so they, they get Duke got possession. That's what they were looking at. Yeah. They had determined that it was not going to be a goaltend. What they were looking for, did the ball end up in Duke's hands? It did to Roach. Or they go to the possession arrow if they weren't sure. So technically, Gene was partially right. He was. Okay. Yes. Right with the call. He was but partially he was, right. Yes. Well, to me, that's a win. Yes. Yeah. Tie goes to the... Tie goes Gene. to Gene. <laughs> right. 58-46, NC State. Duke with possession here with Roach down to 335 to play. Filipowski is fouled out. McCain, a sweeping move, and he scoops it home. Got to get some offense out of this D now. Straight up man on a little trap out of it. And they are great when they get over half court using the clock because it is got a nice play. And the lay in for Middlebrooks. The ball movement, NC State handles the trap, and they turn it into a deuce. And Bert, if you're not used to pressing, you don't get the rotation back to cover. McCain knocked out of his hand so he could pick up his dribble. Drives in on Middlebrooks. Couldn't finish it. The follow bounces in. 60 to 50. We have 2.52 on the clock. O'Connell. Got a little tough spot. 
needs help. Nice bat. And he just fires it ahead, lacrosse style. And now they settle in. Playing keep away here with eight to shoot. Again, Brady. nobody home. And Middlebrooks lays it in. And you said it best. Duke not accustomed to trapping and playing this way. And the scramble is not their game. Not their game. They had 21 points in the first half. They had 41 in the second half. And a foul called on Ben Middlebrooks. Tomorrow on CBS Mornings, Olympic gold medal gymnast Allie Raisman on her next chapter, what she's learned as a role model to kids and her advice for young athletes on CBS Mornings tomorrow. We want just, to look here. These guys are experienced. I mean, yeah, these guys are. have played a lot of basketball. The guards, you throw Burns in there. It's like having four guards out there on the floor, all capable of making the right pass. Passing's contagious. It is. It really is. It stems at the top. You pass the check a lot. <laughs> on occasion, <laughs> including last night. Roach at the free throw line. Filipowski helpless situation after fouling out with 11 points and nine rebounds. There's 218 on the clock. Roach shoots it at 86%. The senior has meant so much to this program. A captain the last two years. And it wins out. O'Connell handles the pressure himself. And into the hands of Horn. These Burger guys have been terrific. And a foul That's called on Mitchell. That is going to be foul number eight on Duke. But the rotation in the backcourt has been sensational. Very confident group. Give it up. Not afraid of taking charge. Getting the lane. Making some threes. <laughs> Big guys taking a rest. DJ Burns to the bench. 23 points. One and one for DJ Horn. Played at Cary High School, also played at Trinity Christian. And it rims out. Rebounded by Stewart. Gotta go quick. Attack. Proctor loses his footing. Saves it. Roach, contact. Blocking foul on O'Connell. And Raph, almost a charge right there. O'Connell. Well, he jumped quickly, didn't he? He jumped quickly. Great anticipation. But he was moving. Yeah, he was no, moving. never got feet. there. Never got there. But their defense has been extraordinary, too. And this is with drop coverage where you usually can get that little floater in the lane. So it's Roach to the free throw line. 2.02 on the clock. That is 10 team fouls on NC State, so two free throws here. Duke has actually made more free throws than they've made field goals tonight. 17 of 20 at the line, 16 of 54 from the field. And right now, Duke with 51 points. They've averaged 70 points in the three tournament games during this run here, but just at 79 for the year. I mean, totally befuddled here in this game defensively. You can't stop that man. And they just could not score from three or at the rim or the mid-range. Burns is back in. One out of two for Roach. This is a 10-point game. Two minutes left. Got to look ahead. They got somebody open if they want. It's Burns. Burns. It is. It took all the team to pick him up as well. Uh, just doing so many good things. The unselfish play. You can see the big guy. He knows where to go. Get down the floor. They'll find him. He can hang with the best of them. And his dad has had fantastic reactions throughout the game. I'd say he's a fan favorite down there. I think he's a fan favorite everywhere. Yeah. Except Durham. Plays with a lot of life, love, and enjoyment. Oh, my God. He's out for the year, that guy. <laughs> that, was, that was a business decision. Oh, man. Says Bumpy. It's 26 points for Burns. And 
And Raph, they're still competing on defense, this state team in prep. But yeah, right here. You I want know, that? You want that? I don't that? know if I want that chest bump. You got it. <laughs> uh, jovial, fun-loving, but a competitor. Oh, just, he is. And uh, just a head for this game. And an entrepreneur, too. That's right. Vending machines, T-shirts. Well, you both sound like you're jealous. <laughs> we are. <laughs> McCain at the free throw line with 147 on the clock. You could feel the shift early stages second half. Duke had lost its balance a bit, and NC State was gaining a rhythm on offense, and then they started riding Burns, and Duke had no answers. And they had no answers, and Duke never really made that adjustment. He did late in the game start to double-team a bit, but for most of that second half, it was all Burns, and he delivered third matchup of the season, the most important one, although the ACC tournament was important because if NC State didn't win that game, they're not here. And Kevin was saying that this team, they haven't had a championship in quite a few years at State. Now they're going to get a chance to hang. Nice hustle by Stewart. And he knocks it out of bounds. Two seconds on the clock here. He's got good reaction, though. Smart timeout yeah, right there. Is, yeah, exactly. Timeout called by NC State. A minute 39 to play. Wolfpack up double digits. South Regional Final. NC State was already confident because of what they did in the ACC tournament, what they've done in the NCAA tournament, but I think the additional layer of confidence is they knew their opponent. They understood the mission. Duke takes it away with a minute and a half to play. The jumper doesn't go for Proctor. A three ball, and it's out of bounds off of the Blue Devils. Boy, he's had a tough day. You know, Bert, another thought, what does this do to State's program all of a sudden? This I, run, I, all of a sudden, they, well, everybody talks Duke and North Carolina because Clemson had a great run this year. But all of a sudden, I think the research triangle in ACC basketball is at its best when all three are at a high level. This could be a launching pad for Kevin Keats and his program, not just the Final Four, but for years to come with recruiting, transfer portal, and such. Job was in serious jeopardy. Winning the ACC tournament triggered a two-year extension on his deal, so he doesn't have to think about that, worry about that. They have been galvanized by the doubt and by the question marks as to how long this run could go. In their eyes, it can go all the way to a championship. You know, he thinks of everything, by the way. I don't know if you notice the shoes he wears. The shine on the shoes is incredible. He says he wear they're referee shoes. He might gain favor by wearing them, he thought. I like that gamesmanship with the officials and the shine on the shoes. He's been shining with this group here all postseason. He has a lot of superstitions. We know Dan Hurley has a bunch. He said, I pack enough clothes for the trip. I don't need to wear it over and over again. Some people do that in this group, too. 67-54, <laughs> NC State, 116 to play, another foul call. And that's not necessary right now. You just want the clock to run out if you're NC State. And don't give Duke a chance to make free throws. And rotating the two bigs here. Burns back in. Kevin Keats looks like he's on a boat ride there on the sideline. Sitting on the side, good for him. Enjoying the moment. I would, too. I mean, this team, magical. But here's the other part. It has truly been a team effort for NC State throughout this tournament. Burns 
obviously you can't take your eyes off him. He's just so much fun to watch. But the role of Middlebrooks here tonight, taking fouls, being physical, fouling out Filipowski, basically. You're spot on. I mean, everybody has contributed tonight. We, we know Diara's had moments where he's been spectacular, rebounding, doing the little things. Michael O'Connell hit that, that incredible big, big. shot to send it to overtime against Virginia mm -hmm. in the ACC tournament. So everybody has contributed. They're so locked in, and they just haven't they're playing with great joy and defense I mean they are tough on the perimeter they save the big guy in the lane by not permitting access and Diara not one of his best games Bird. no Diara foul trouble it's been limited offensively still has grabbed seven rebounds but he's been on a streak of seven straight double digit rebound games four straight double doubles five in the last six What's interesting is Kevin Keats, he only plays seven guys. Mm -hmm. Seven guys. And they just they know what they know what to do. They know how to play with one another. McCain hits on a three. And a timeout called by Duke. They cut it to 10. 105 to play. Destination Phoenix. And UConn, East Regional Champion, defending national champions. Alabama, West Regional Champion, first Final Four appearance. And Purdue, out of the Midwest, first Final Four since 1980. 105 to play here in Dallas. NC State 68, Duke 58. It's nervous time, I think, for Kevin. The pressure, maybe cough it up, get some opportunities, and a couple of threes, uh, Duke is knocking on the door. They missed a bunch of free throws, too, which obviously is concerning when you're just trying to put a game away, but certainly you might find yourself later in this tournament needing free throws late. Nice trap. Get it in. Taylor. What well, lucky. Horn comes to the ball and then accelerates. Give it up. Burns. Floats it up and in. Plus one. Somebody else would have just Got up strong. He just teases you with his body control, his understanding. The rap, he saw Sean Stewart coming, made a great block a few minutes ago, and just kind of froze right yeah. there. And just has done everything right. Laughs, great personality. A joy to watch. Not just a fan favorite oh. in Raleigh, and he, fan favorite all over. The country is going to fall in love with this kid. 71-58. Burns to the bench. <laughs> and subbing out right now, maybe for defensive purposes. They've been doing that on and off. Did you see him jump, like, skipping rope yeah. going out? A little hop step. Yeah, it's just... They've got 50 points in the second half. O'Connell not giving up any ground and forces a turnover against McCain. And yeah, they're going to look at it, I guess. 49.1 on the clock. Duke complaining, NC State wants to trigger in, and they are going to take a look. If the ball off the dribble may have bounced off of NC State, and that's why McCain reacted in this manner. Right there, he put it off McConnell's leg, and he's correct. Another look. Yeah. It, yeah. it was off the side of his knee. But they worked so hard containing the dribble drive. That's part of the dilemma for Duke. 
Never got pieces of the lane and kick out threes. Always under duress, always challenged. And what was impressive, as O'Connell was sliding his feet, his hands were in the air. Didn't use his hand. Use your feet to defend. Just right. smart, well-coached team here. The little things, the that, details. That was a big thing with Jay Wright. Defensively outside and at the rim, too. And he used to have the kids throw the hands back over their shoulder just to let the referee know. So Michael Irving took a look. And they are going to hand the ball to Duke. So they add two tenths of a second to the clock. 49.3. 13-point lead for NC State. Proctor gets it in, McCain fires, and snaps in a three. Back to a 10-point game. 47 seconds on the clock. Got to cut and be strong and post up and look over the top. Morsell looks that way. Nice post. They got another timeout. Oh, it looked like a foul there it on is Mark a foul. Mitchell. It's Mitchell. And Kevin was called timeout on the sideline. So that's going to send NC State to the free throw line with Morsell, who shoots it at 80%. Fourth personal on Mark Mitchell. 40.6 to play. Out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Two years for Virginia. Now in his fifth season. 80% from that free throw line. Got a great pull-up game. Said he wanted to be a broadcaster. That's what I heard. I think he said it to you, actually. He did, yes. <laughs> he thought you might know somebody. Tell him I know you. <laughs> he converts on a pair. NC State leads by 12. McCain. It's off. Rebound. And a foul called. And that's it for Mark Mitchell. 31.1. So the season's going to end here for Duke. They were looking for their 18th Final Four appearance, but it will stop short here in the Elite Eight. They were allowing just 51 points per game in this tournament, the lowest in the field. They've given up 73 to NC State, the majority of that damage in the second half. And the reality setting in slowly here it can be devastating. TJ Power in the game for Duke. O'Connell at the free throw line. We just saw John with Jeremy Roche over there embracing all the hard work, the time, the effort. It's so close to the Final Four, and you just don't deliver offensively, but certainly a season that Duke should be proud of. McCain, another triple, 25.8. A little they, too late. Exactly. Early, they weren't able to make him. Handle the pressure. Morsell back into the hands of Horn. Gets it across, splits defenders. And now they just keep it away from Duke. The celebration starts for the NC State fans. Foul called with 1.9. And John had called the ball really. So NC State can pad the numbers here. Back to the free throw line. That was nice, huh? McCain. Congratulating them. They are going to be rocking in Raleigh and in Carolina. Another one for Horn. He's such a lovable kid over there. Everybody caressing him. Got to have big arms, but... <laughs> Get it in. And it's over. This is what dreams are made of. An unlikely run to the Final Four for NC State. Echoes of 1983. And the cardiac pack. This has been a joyride for the Wolf Pack. Incredible.
Cleveland. I'm just thinking Jimmy V smiling up there. Uh, that run, as you noted, and this group of kids, boy, at the end of the year, start to believe in one another. Stepped up big coming down the stretch. It sure did. It feels a little bit like destiny for this group. We know there's some great teams waiting, Utah and the others, Purdue, Alabama, but they have just continued to do the unthinkable. 76-74, NC State knocks off Duke. The final four is set. Tip times. NC State Purdue will lead off the coverage on TBS. 609 Eastern, followed by UConn and Alabama. That'll be 849 Eastern. Final four, 24, will include NC State. Over to Tracy Wolfson. Well, here are these Jay Burns. Congratulations, TJ. The joy that you play with, the joy this team plays with is just infectious. Can you describe the joy that you're feeling right now headed to the final four? Uh, I say like I've been saying the whole tournament, when I stop having fun with basketball, I'll stop playing. Um, I'm very thankful to be here. My guys behind us, we're ready. Talk about this team and what you guys have accomplished. Nine straight wins, winning the ACC championship to get to this point and now headed to a Final Four. What is it about this team and how did you guys do it? Uh, there's just been a total switch in our commitment. Um, nobody's being late to things. Nobody's, you know, being a problem on the court. Um, everybody's come together. I don't know what it is, but everything, everybody's handling on and off the court well. 29 points for you. Congratulations, and we'll see you in Phoenix. You know it. Final Four, baby. <laughs> and that's it. Final Four, baby, for NC State. For Bill Raftery, Grant Hill, Tracy Wilson, Gene Sturator, Ian Eagle saying so long from Dallas. The Wolfpack South Regional Champions. On CBS tonight, 60 Minutes, new episodes of The Equalizer and Tracker plus CSI Vegas. We will see you in Phoenix. You've been watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on CBS. The dream remains alive for NC State. Have a great night, everybody. Okay, I'm a